Son, what are you doing over there, dude? <laughs> Hey man. Good job, son. All right, folks, let me see what we got going on. Big changes here in the kitchen. Big changes, that thing is gone. Big changes. That's big changes. Show you my new cooking station. Boom, for this. Got the G Walk. Got the G Walk here in the great outdoors. Got the tank nestled up behind the bamboo chair. And the roof will provide some rain cover. We'll put a cover over it, keep the sun load off of it. But I got that thing wired up coming over here. The G Walk. And the only thing I think is going to happen is probably going to melt the uh, lady's clothesline here. But they'll get over it and they'll fix it. Look at this little outdoor sitting area. And they got a little bit more cleanup to do. They've been sweeping the yard. What, baby? It's raining. If it's raining? Mm -hmm. uh, no if it's raining, you come out here with an umbrella and you do cooking. No clothes. No clothes? Yeah, Folks, we're not lying. All of our clothes are at the laundry. I don't even have enough clothes to put a t-shirt on. We don't got nothing dirty in there? My God. Folks, you see the stress I'm under on a daily basis? All right, I'm gonna fire up some shrimp soup for these ladies. Luckily, it's not raining today. If it rains, we'll just use that little induction cooker and have to deal with it inside. But the G-Walk puts off so much heat, it had to come outside. Yeah, baby. Get that in the trash bar. Okay, she said, get that in the trash bar. If anybody wants to translate, go right ahead. That one off. What, baby? The global three. No, no, we're keeping that, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you ladies some survival skills with that tree branch. I'm gonna teach you how to light a fire with that branch. Baby, survival skills. What if you don't have a lighter? And all you have is a tree branch. If you don't have a lighter, do need. Okay. Well, let's not eat, and let's see how long it takes for you and Ate to get crazy. Just wait until you. <laughs> yeah, wait till after I make the soup to teach you the survival skills. Okay, okay, baby. I'm wearing my slippers, baby, but I already got dirt on my feet. So what's it gonna accomplish here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, it's stress on my Okay, again, so what we're working with is the second half of a kilo of shrimp that we bought up at the market. A little bit of onions. Uh, the G Walk. Oh, yeah, bring them on out here, baby. I have a project. Get this water. What's the Put project? Bring the water out here? Yeah. Okay, I can do that, baby. Get this heavy ass water jug. <clears throat> Where do you want it? We could put it in the chair. Yeah, that's a great idea. Put the grill over there. Put this man in the chair. There we go. All right, folks, got a water station set up here. Ask for you flies to come over here and hang out. All of a sudden, when this rainy season started, this rain starts, now I got flies everywhere. If you got flies, it's because of the damn security shit in the street. That's what, fly, you know, if you see flies, it's because a dog or a cat shit somewhere near your yard. All right, let's get the problem fixed. Janice deployed some lids on there, anti-fly devices. I'm still waiting on her to bring out my large combo cooker. Baby, what's the hold up on bringing out my large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker? Where's the shrimp cubes? I think we're out of shrimp cubes. Just bring chicken cubes. That's it, baby. You you are the co-star of this show. Okay, yeah, I gotta get that off of there. It's this thing right here it doesn't fit the combo cooker. Oh, that's there me. we go. Now it fits. We're out of shrimp cubes, but it put the chicken cubes in with the shrimp makes a great flavor. No problems. Ow, fuck. 
Just watch. Getting dressed here, folks. But the only shirt that I have in the house. A good, a good will find. We got this from Goodwill. Okay, I don't give a shit. I'm ready to cook, baby. All right, folks. Welcome to my little outdoor cooking show here in the backyard of the Uptown Bungalow in Barrio Barreto here in the Philippines. Got the big G walk on station with the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo. Baby, I got some gloves. Hey, I need some gloves or a towel. <laughs> gotta have some gloves or a towel to manhandle this stuff. All right, so what we got going on here? I don't even know how I'm gonna get this going. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna saute the shrimp, the onions, and the, uh, the little peppers. And then I'll mix every, oh shit, I'll mix everything else in and get a stew going. Something's got to be done about this guy here. Something's got to be done right now. Oh, here, make it look you don't. Hey, we got a problem over there. Why? I keep busting my head on this damn tree, guava tree. Keeps taking me out. All right, solve that problem. What? That look like... That look crazy. Maybe I'd rather it look crazy and then I'm not bust my head open and have to go get stitches. <laughs> All right, that might not look pretty, but you know what? Ah. Problem is solved. I mean, this, this is the only rag you could find. I'm, I'm, gonna, be, I'm gonna be handling a hot cast iron skillet here. All right, so the only thing I think is gonna happen here is I'm gonna melt this, uh, not the metal, but they'll put some nylon cord up here. I'm probably gonna melt that in half. Shit happens, but you know what? Cooking in the great outdoors, now I'm not worried about the heat and just not worried about things. It's so much nicer to cook outside. All right, let's get this skillet nice and hot. Let's get a little bit of oil in there. Not too much. Man, that thing's gonna bother me every time I go over there. I'm hitting it from the shoulder. All right, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, folks, cooking on this G-Walk, this thing is so darn hot. I mean, my goodness. Thing sizzle sizzle. Oh my goodness. There's so much heat coming off of this. Luckily it just dissipates out. Get those vegetables going. I got the shrimp here. Carrots and potatoes. Save those. We want to put the water in to turn it over to soup. But I just do like to stir fry my stuff up before get the soup going that's the way i cook you know what i mean if you're behind the uh, behind the skillet behind the stove you can cook any way you want to but this is the way this dog cooks and i just think it gives it a better flavor for the soup when i saute everything before putting the water to it and boiling it with all my spices actually i can get the spices right now turmeric Turmeric, turmeric, how do you say that? I have no clue. And that is so hot. Let's go ahead in with the shrimp. And you can say, hey man, that's a great meal right there in itself, and you would be right. But I'm making soup. I've got four people to feed. They like to eat rice. Oh shit, it's a little cayenne pepper. Mine went too hard on them. A little chili. Oh, yeah. That's it, you can eat that just like it is. A little garlic powder. Over here, honey, so I can eat too. I can reach it over there, baby. Yes, that's open up. And I know I shouldn't use this for water, but it's initial phase is a cooking operation, so I'm gonna use what I got. The raw shrimp juice. Yeah, that flavors the water, no problem. Look at that, you could eat that right there. Right now, 
That right there is looking so good. Get a little bit of water in there. Yeah. So much heat coming off off there, you need a, you almost need a glove. That's how much this G-Wash is putting off. It just does not play around. A bit more. Alright, there's no sound like the present. There you go. Carrots and potatoes. I want in the mix. Oh, dang, lost, lost something down there. I need some more water. A little bit more water going on in here. You see outside, I'm not afraid for this to bubble over, to get all crazy. You know, it's too hot, it gets out of control. Outdoor cooking is the way to go. Right, where was I on the spices? Got some basil leaves right here. Oh, yeah. Folks in Thailand with the Thai basil. I mean, I throw a whole stalk of basil in everything I cook. You can look at some of my early cooking shows. We use a lot of basil because that stuff just has a great flavor. Reduces down. I mean, just that Thai basil is wonderful. What else we got here? That's black pepper, nope. How about a little ginger? Mmm, smell of ginger. Oregano, yeah, why not? Just a little bit of oregano on top there. Thyme, I have no idea what thyme is. I put it in there and I make great soup, so I'm assuming maybe the thyme has something to do with it. What we got here? Ooh, I almost left out the paprika. Not leave out the paprika. That is big. There's the onion powder coming in there. Just a couple shakes. There you go. You want to know how to make soup? And you want how to make it delicious? There you go. Put my spice blend. And I don't know why I'm just going to take all these things, combine them into one shaker because I use the same stuff every time. Yeah, it's not minimalistic when it comes to spices, but that's what I like. And we've got two chicken cubes. Now this is shrimp soup. I'm out of shrimp cubes. But when I'm making chicken soup, I use one shrimp cube in there to give it a, just that little twang, a little tangy taste to it. Usually in the 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker, I use three of these cubes. You know, two chicken, one shrimp, two shrimp, one chicken, whatever. But I always use three. If you use two, there's not enough flavor. And then she brought me out the salt. And I'm always skimping on the salt. People say it needs more salt. So I'm trying to train myself to put more salt into the mix. If that seemed like a lot of salt, it's not. Okay, let me stir this dude up. Give him a little stir. And folks, we got this thing, we got this thing wound out. There is so much heat coming off of here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cap it for a couple reasons. Number one, just hope to keep that heat in there, but I'll have to turn it down. Number two, it keeps the flies from, I don't know, flying by, dying from the heat, falling into my soup. Here we go. Thanks for joining me on this little cooking show. But hey, I got to go check on my mom. So I need the camera. She's shooting on the iPhone 12 mini. Got to check on her, see how she's doing. And got security fired up out there in the street for some reason. Man, it's... Shit, security's out there. Causing a ruckus. Good job, baby. There we go. This one, it's too hard. This one, it's hard now. Good technique, baby. Are you wearing uh, panties? Oh, no! Mm. Okay, carry on. Whoa! Oh. Good job. This one, it's hard. That was good. Which one's good? That one's good? This one. Yeah. How's it taste? It tastes a like a coconut. Well, of course it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> All right, folks. Still working on my soup out here. Made a big old mess. 
Talking to my mom, checking on her back in the States. Shout out to your mom. Hope you're doing well. Get Janice's shirt on here because this thing is hot. Whoa, look at that. Put that on there. The soup is a rolling bowl. And you know, folks, this soup has been done. But the problem is the taters. I always complain that the, about the taters taking so long to cook. Sometimes I just don't want to put potatoes in the soup because it just costs me extra time. All right, let me see if I can get a tune out of this trombone with this here coconut chopper. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that, folks. I bet that young man up there would hire me if he saw that. One chop. One chop on the coconut chopper. That is how you do it right there. One chop, baby. How's that one? Good. All right, here, take the coconut chopper. Easy. Two bucks for that coconut chopper. Oh, 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 oh. You got rice for sale? Yeah. How much that rice, baby? Two cups, sir, um, 50 pesos. But how many cups did you make? Asco I think she made four. Ate, how many cups you cook? Three. I think she cooked four. Three. Three. There you go, folks. Take a look at the finished product. Nice rolling boil. It's reduced down a little bit. Go ahead and shut down the G-Walk. Now it's time to set the table. Now let's eat. Keep half of this in reserve. Keep the flies off of that soup. And here's what we're working with. Already dipped some soup out over there. Got the rice. A few flies are joining us. We're ready to eat. Horse G. Man, we got you some good soup, buddy. Horse oh. G didn't wait for nobody. He just dug right in. He must have said that soup looked delicious. Oh, shit. I dropped my only rag in the dirt. Yo, yo. Folks, we got a big old frog. I mean, I'm talking a huge bullfrog. Oh, so small only Honey, listen. Okay. Fatima doesn't believe us about the frog, but Janice and I have seen the frog. <laughs> and it is a huge bullfrog. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead. Steal my water. <laughs> so since, since, since Fatima has not seen how big this frog is, Janice makes her do all the tasks, like over here in this area of the yard. <laughs> Fatima's not afraid because she ain't seen how big that son bitch is. Maybe he's over there to maybe he's over there to neighbors. All right, ladies, try my soup. Let's get a good reaction. See how it is here. What reaction you? Janice, I uh, got booty hanging out. I, I, you can just carry on. I just let you know. Carry on, carry on. If you haven't forgot, we're in the YouTube business. There carry you go. On. Go to work, dude. You were fast out of the gate, but then you uh, let off the hammer, man. Go to work on that food, boy. Watch your mama. If you need any uh, example of how to eat, just watch your mama over here. <laughs> Oh my God! Prophet, you don't want to eat? Why you not eat? Alright, let me see if I can get a tune out of this trombone. Try my own, my own concoction here. Let's see how this is. I just take a little bit of bite of the, of the soup. Get the flavor. Mmm. That's a good flavor. Not too like seafoody. Just a real good flavor on that soup. Mm. Folks, you see how good I treat these ladies? Man, that's why they put on all these kilos on my good cooking here. Hey, if you're not a subscriber on our channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, right down there. Somewhere like right down here. If you hit that overstay road sign, 
post from gaining new subscribers every day. We certainly appreciate uh, everybody who's taking the time to subscribe. If you watch our videos, listen to my voice, we certainly appreciate it. So if you can hit that Overstay Road sign or ring that bell. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Who's that ringing that bell? Damn, ring the bell like Rocky. Get on board our train. We appreciate it, folks. Mm. And folks, it is coming another monsoon out here. It is coming a monsoon. But you know what? I feel bad because Janice went out to get some chicken. I do and I don't. I said, hey, look, take the radio so when you get back, I can open up the gate, the door, whatever. All right, she threw a fit, didn't want to bring the radio. So now she's going to have to fiddle with the key to get back in here. <laughs> 